Welcome back to another MLB video, and it is that time of the year for MLB season previews, as now I'm going to be previewing all 30 MLB teams before the season gets underway in just 47 days now, four days until pitchers and catchers report, a couple weeks until spring training starts officially, meaning games, and then 47 days until the April 1st MLB season opener, which will be very exciting for all baseball fans. So now, our first team that we're going to be previewing Previewing this year is the Baltimore Orioles. Again, all 30 teams will be previewed before the season starts. So starting things off for the Baltimore Orioles, we're going to go over their lineup. So starting things off with the outfield, Anthony Santander. He in 2020 he hit 251 with 11 homers and 890 OPS. He is definitely going to be locked into that right field spot. But then between left field and center field, there are three guys that are going to be battling out for two spots. Those guys are going to be off. Austin Hayes, Cedric Mullins, and DJ Stewart, all fairly young guys, so we'll see who performs the best in camp and who the coaches like best going into the season. And now, going into their infield at third base, Rio Ruiz looks like he's going to be the starter. He had a solid 2020, nothing great, nothing terrible. And then that shortstop, we have a new addition to the team. It's going to be Freddie Galvis. He's bounced around in the past couple seasons. He was on the Reds last year, so he's their newly acquired shortstop. He's going to be filling in the role that Jose Iglesias played the last season. And then at second base, it's Yulmer Sanchez. He won the gold glove in 2019. He could be solid for them. He barely played in 2020 though. And Jemai Jones, who is a former top 100 prospect, was acquired in the Alex Cobb trade from the Dodgers. So they will have him as a potential replacement for Sanchez if he starts to struggle or if Jones just shows him flashes. And then at first base, we have Ryan in Mountcastle. He raked in 2020 as a rookie. The numbers could go down as they get more scouting reports on him, but a 333 average with five homers and an 878 OPS is definitely very good. And then the last part of their lineup, it's the stud of the team, Trey Mancini. He did not play for some personal health reasons in 2020, but in 2019, the last full season, he dominated. All-star season, 291 average, 35 homers, 97 RBIs, with an 899 OPS, so he's definitely the big part of their lineup. They also have guys like Chris Davis that could be playing every once in a while. We'll see how that works out. And then as far as pitching, their starting pitcher for opening day will be John Means, who in 2020 went 2-4 and four in 10 games with a 4-5-3 ERA. That is definitely not what you want as your number one starter, especially when you're going up against the tough lineups in the AL East. Every team in the AL East can hit Tampa Bay, New York, Toronto, even Boston, they don't have the pitching, but they have some guys that could rake in their lineup. So this rotation looks like they could be in for a long year, again, knocked around all year as the Orioles. They're still pretty deep into this rebuild. There will be some bright times ahead in a couple years or so, but not this year as following means in the rotation, you have guys like Keegan Aiken, Dean Kremer, Jorge Lopez, and Bruce Zimmerman. I guarantee you a bunch of people watching this, if they're not diehard Orioles fans, have probably never Never heard those names before but let me know what you guys think about this team i am predicting them to finish fifth in the al east that's definitely going to be a popular pick for this year probably going to have one of the worst records in the mlb maybe they're not exactly the worst team maybe there's a few teams that are at their level or a bit lower but facing the tough four teams that they have in their division or at least three tough teams and then the red sox and them could battle it out for four and five so let me know what you guys think about the baltimore orioles going into the 2021 season.